But what is this social commerce business anyway? I mean, Zuckerberg famously said, and it's been, been quoted a lot uh, uh, around Twitter, if I had to guess, uh, social commerce is the next area to really blow up. Um, but what is social commerce? Well, if you don't like jargon, I think the simplest way of, of, of defining social commerce is all about helping people share where they shop and shop where they share. Um, sounds a little bit like a sound bite, but I think it captures the essence of what social commerce is. So if you look at helping people share where they shop, for example, if you, when you now go online, you, you buy on e-commerce stores, there are a number of social tools. You used to only be able to like products if you connected your e-commerce store to Facebook, but now with the open graph, you can actually have custom, um, you have custom social actions so you can put with stuff, that you, buttons of what you want, what you love, what you need, what you already have. Um, you, more generally, you can add social applications to e-commerce sites, whether it be from Amazon-style reviews and ratings to social plugins from, from Facebook to more, some more traditional social features such as user forums, etc. It's about adding a social layer to help people shop, um, to, to shop smarter when they're on your site. The other side of social commerce is all about helping people shop where they share, um, and which where people share mostly online now is is through social networks, whether it be through Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, etc. And so social commerce is, is, is about creating e-commerce applications for social sites as well as about creating social applications for e-commerce sites. And Booz and Go reckon there's about a $30 billion market in, in social commerce. And so that's what our blog and that's what our, uh, our, our book, the book is about, is how to get your slice of that $30 billion, $30 billion market. But why, why social commerce? Before we get into the, 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 the secrets for unlocking uh, social commerce, and I'm going to introduce three, and Paul's going to introduce, uh, introduce three. Um, why do social commerce? Isn't social media all about connecting and collaborating with your, with your customers? Isn't it all about engagement, right? You know, a huge fat word we have in marketing. It's about engagement. You don't know what else to say. Well, we've got good engagement. Um, but, uh, what, why, so why do social commerce? Why mix sales with social? Well, first of all, it's what your, your customers want, and I'll show you a graph in a second that, that, that shows that. It's also, I think, what businesses such as yourself actually need. You need ROI. Um, talking about awareness, and awareness have a focus on, on, on ROI. You need social ROI. You need ROI, and the only way of measuring ROI, getting ROI, is to sell stuff. ROI, return on investment, is a financial measure. It's money in, money out. So unless you're actually selling stuff, getting ROI on social media is really, really tough. And so social commerce, I think, is what you need. If you want ROI, social commerce is what you need. And thirdly, it's good customer economics. Now, let me just explain that. Um, so when I say social commerce is what your customers, uh, customers want, um, let's have a look at this sort of perception gap that exists often between companies and businesses and, and their, their, their clients, customers, and consumers. If you actually ask consumers what they want in social media, uh, here's a list on, on the left-hand side, you'll see at the top, people want deals and they want to shop. That's right at the top of the list. Uh, list. What they want least is feeling connected, being part of a community, participation in events, all those kind of engagement-y type things that the businesses think that the consumers want, but they actually don't. Interestingly, when you ask businesses to rank order, what do they think uh, their, their, their customers or consumers want from them when they connect with them in social media, um, they get the list the wrong way around. They put deals and purchasing and shopping at the bottom of the list, whereas consumers put it at the top of the list. So social commerce does seem to be what people want. You are, if you're a business in the business of selling stuff or you have stuff to sell, um, then the reason to connect with you in social media is to buy stuff that you are, are, are selling. Consumers aren't dumb. Um, the second reason is that social commerce is what you need. Social media is a, um, is a black hole of money. You can throw money into it by trying to turn social media into a kludgy customer service uh, customer service channel. Um, you can uh, use it as to, to as a pro direct marketing marketing channel. Um, but it's expensive and, and unwieldy, and you can end up throwing a lot of money into it and without knowing what you're getting back. So but what social commerce does, helping you sell with social media, um, allows you to generate a ROI. Um, and then finally, so social commerce is, is good customer economics. 
Um, there's a slide that's badly poorly rendered here, um, but it's actually taken from uh, on my screen. Perhaps you can see it on your screen, but it shows the full uh, shows um, just one infinite loop with a sign outside with uh, Apple, and then a little a little, a little uh, uh, bar chart showing um, how Apple reckon for every for, for every uh, every customer is worth about four thousand three hundred and seventy three dollars to Apple. That's what they reckon is value, but it's not what, just what they buy. It's made up of what they the, the, the margin on what customers will purchase over the lifetime of their relationship with Apple, which comes to about two and a half thousand dollars. But nearly two thousand, an extra nearly an extra two thousand comes from the word of mouth value that customers give when they're sharing uh, when, when, when they're sh sharing online or through through traditional word of mouth. For, for Apple, but particularly because it has so many promoters, Apple promoters, people who are you know, enthusiastic fans of Apple, they are actually sell. They become a volunteer sales force and bring in new customers. Uh, they'll advertise for Apple by saying, hey, try this. Have you seen it's out? This is the, 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 the latest product. And they bring in new customers. And the whole Apple retail empire is built on the principle that the the secret to success in, of good business is to deliver an experience that is so good that people not only come back for more, but they come back with their friends. So this word of mouth value adds a huge, a huge margin um, to the, the total customer value that, that you get out, out, of your, out of your customers. So social commerce makes good customer economics because social commerce is all about uh, harnessing word of mouth value online.